Oh, wow. I was not expecting this, guys. Hey everyone, today we'll be testing out my latest app, something that every gamer is going to want for a better gaming experience. But that's not all. No. Stick around until the end because we'll be putting it head to head with three heavyweight champions in the space. Stay tuned. If you're like me, you probably wish Windows was smaller, lighter, and I guess more efficient. And well, I tried to accomplish that and pack it into something tangible, but honestly, I just couldn't get to a point where so many hours of work nope. would be worth it for all of you. So I went even deeper. How could I make what's already there slimmer? and work to my benefit. I mean, I had already seen other gaming optimizers, but I didn't want mine to be just like them. They felt gimmicky, yeah, cheap, yeah. and like you were trying to power wash your PC with a leaky garden hose. I mean, I needed it to be better for my community, for you guys actually. So I set off to work. Oh snap. Trim the machine down too much with the original PowerShell script I used in testing. Crap, one second. This is how bad I wanted Windows to be slimmed down. I had it remove so many applications, programs, drivers even, that I caused my personal machine to fail lots of times. But this was the start of something amazing. I knew I was close to something because every time my machine crashed, I knew this was where I needed to be pulling so many accessories out of windows that it was failing it was time to level up my game i started working on the final product and this simple straightforward awesome app came out of it unlike other game optimizers that are cluttered or just kind of bulky maybe even gimmicky feeling this app just has one button no distractions or kind of lost feeling when opening the program i guess it's kind of for like people like me who struggle with lots of options, lots of buttons, and getting a little less focused like, hey, what's this over here? So, <laughs> excuse me. So this one is tuned very finely to avoid that. All we have to do is hit the scan button and you'll see a list of all the services and all, I mean all the programs running on your PC. Chrome, Firefox, OBS Studio, uh, Edge, I mean, this captures like everything that's running on your current image. And as the little header underneath says, select which items below to not close. This is pretty awesome, honestly, because once you select these, they're gonna go into a little config file and stay there until you uncheck them later. So like for instance, I'm wanting to keep Wondershare Filmora up, right? So since the process probably starts with W, I just hit the W key on my keyboard and voila. Search through the list until I see Wondershare. Yep, see, there it is. And just check it, and now it won't be closed. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of EA stuff running that I don't want to have to go through again. So I'll just find everything with EA in it and check it off to just not have to close those. So you can continue this for other items you don't want to close. Heck, take your time. You'll only have to select these once since they'll be saved for you in the future. Now, if you'll notice, you have two clickable buttons. Optimize now and extreme optimize. Clicking the optimize now button will of course begin closing apps and services you haven't selected. This is I guess what you could call the safe zone. I found out that while I was just closing almost literally everything I could get my hands on during the prototype PowerShell script that I was getting BSODs because of closing driver related apps and services. Once I figured out this, was what caused the blue screens. I immediately added the safety net for people who wanted to play it safe and not possibly damage their systems. For days, weeks, months, you've been sitting in silence, your screen frozen, your sims unplayed, your entire creativity pause. You've been waiting for a voice, a, a sign, a helping hand, but all you found is your own hope just fading away.
I see you. I hear the silence that's been your only answer, and I'm not going to let that be the end of your story. With every unsolved problem, every unanswered question, I am here to break the silence. I just want people to know they're not alone in this. Me and you, let's change that together. Let's turn the silence into stories. Let's turn the frustration into fun. And let's turn those problems into playtime. That's what I'm here for. So, in contrast to this button, there's its much more aggressive twin sister of a button, Extreme Optimize. I built this algorithm for those who absolutely want to get rid of as much bloatware running on their systems as possible. It's built for the risk takers out there. Comment below if you're a risk taker. And so with this particular algorithm, it sees processes and services it probably shouldn't touch or close, but because they aren't marked, it aggressively attempts to close them. Notice the restore button isn't active yet. This is another way to keep us people who are easily prone to just happy clicking away from doing so. After you're done selecting all the stuff you wanna close and hit the optimize now button, you'll get this warning about automatically adding the explorer to the safe list. It then tells you that if you want to close it, use the extreme optimize button. We'll get to that later, I promise. That's where we'll see if my program does anything worthwhile compared to the other game optimizers in the market. Now this warning I put in place because this is exactly what a real game optimizer program should do in my personal opinion. It should slim your computer down so much that the only way to get everything back to regular operations is to restart it. If you're really interested in seeing why I made this decision, comment below. It really just has to do with programs and different startup arguments, etc. Now you have this entire list of programs and services that were closed. Something I implemented that nobody else does is, well, honesty. Game Booster apps like to boast about how much space you saved or memory you reclaimed immediately after you do the clean. I've seen it time and time again on all kinds of devices, but this isn't where the data needs to be measured. It's after the system's recovered from all the program and service slashing it just endured. That's why Game Optimizer waits 30 seconds after everything is complete and measures how many processes and services came back on their own because the system may have restarted them automatically. It also recalculates the amount of memory used up after that 30 seconds to show you how much the system took back after the clean was done. And because I wanted to see if your system even gained any memory, I added two bars to tell you where your system was before and after all the way after the clean was done. So let's get to that battle royale, shall we? And see how my app stacks against three hard hitting competitors dominating the space right now. Up first, we have MZ Game Accelerator. Middleweight champion MZ Game Accelerator, created in 2010, optimizes PC performance for gaming. It frees up resources, clears RAM, and boosts gameplay. Despite its age, it's still effective for older or less powerful computers. Up next, we have Smart Game Booster. Heavyweight contender Smart Game Booster, released on May 11, 2020, is an easy to use game optimization utility. It helps boost FPS, overclock your GPU, monitor your temperatures, fast game launching, and better game performance. Last and definitely not least, 
we have the current reigning heavyweight champion, Razor Cortex, an absolute fave amongst gaming fans looking to speed up their PCs. Razor Cortex was released on June 14, 2022. It boosts system performance by managing and ending unnecessary background processes, freeing up resources for gaming. This software also features game-specific optimization through an AI-driven tool called Booster Prime, which tweaks settings for supported games. Additionally, it offers system cleanup, game deals, and a rewards program where you can earn Razer gear while gaming. Unfortunately, for a first-time user, Cortex seems to have so many hoops to jump through to make sure it comes up and just, well, runs. First up, we'll run MZ Game Accelerator. Let's run all three of these back to back and see how they leave the system. After everything's completed, we're left with roughly five gigabytes of the total allotted 32 that I have on this particular system. The CPU usage looks so now, this is me setting up my program to where it keeps all three of these other programs running. I'm trying my best to keep this a fair fight because otherwise, my game optimizer will close these three and they didn't even close mine. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this, guys. I honestly thought I didn't have a fighting chance in hell to do anything more than they did. If you see here, the two bars showing before and after shows a definite decrease in the amount of memory used by the system. According to the notes in my app, after waiting the 30 seconds to be brutally honest with you, it ended up saving another 1.1 gigabytes worth of memory consuming apps and services from the system. That is absolutely impressive. In simple terms, this ultimately means that this program could have done everything that these guys did without them even being opened at all and run. That is spectacular. So I hope you see the promise I'm trying to show here. I wanted to build an app that would slim down Windows so much that it basically became borderline dangerous. And I think I managed to do that successfully. So check out the link in the description to get your copy of my amazing game optimizer. Stay tuned to the end because I have an amazing deal for the first 50 customers that buy Gamer Images Game Optimizer. And because I love you guys so much, I want to make sure that you know that I stand behind this statement more than 100%. If you're not satisfied with my app's performance within 7 days, I'll do a full refund of your purchase. Simply provide the logs the app generates, and I'll refund you every penny you invested. And you get to keep the app free of charge. Just please, I, I would love it if there wasn't like any abuse of this policy. I love you guys genuinely. But if you're serious about the app and you want to support the channel, I'm going to give you guys a 75% discount on this app. This means you're only going to pay $2.49 at checkout for this amazing product instead of the original price of $9.99. Again, performance guaranteed or your money back. Thanks for watching.